guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And if you're not brand new here and you've seen my videos before that I filmed in my office, you might notice something a little different. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you my gun room slash office makeover. So if you've seen some of my videos before, I'll often film from this angle with my mirror in front of me so I can show you guys how I'm carrying my gun that day. And this wall right here used to just be plain white. But I was contacted by a company called Hold Up Displays that makes these beautiful gun walls. And they asked if they could send me a kit so that I could share it with my viewers. And of course I said yes, because they're stunning. So we finally got it set up and I'm so excited to show you guys what it all looks like. So one thing about my channel that I kind of pride myself on is that I don't want to just blend in with the rest of the gun owner crowd. I always say I want to make a gun part of my lifestyle without me having to change a whole bunch of things about the way I dress or what I like. And so I really love sharing that with you guys and sharing how I integrate firearms and personal safety into my lifestyle. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of girly. I'm wearing a skirt right now. I like girly things. And so when Hold Up Displays got in contact with me, I knew that I wanted to make this wall something that reflects my personality. So let me show you the wall and then I'll go through the other parts of my office because I've kind of just revamped everything and I have a new safe that I'm really excited to share with you guys as well. All right, so this is the entrance to my office and when you walk in, you can't really see it unless you turn around, but this is my gun wall in the corner. I think it is so stunning. So they have different finishes for the wall that you can get. So I got the finish that looks like wood because I just love the way that this looks. They also have a white and a black. Um, they might have one more, but I really like this one, especially with these little lights I got from Amazon. I think that the wood looks really nice in here. And so let's just go through it and I'll show you guys how I styled my wall because I just love how it came out. So they have these little brackets here and all of these pieces, you can take them off and move them. They just pop right into the panels here. And so I have some of my training guns here. These are just plastic gun replicas that I can use if I'm showing a holster or something. That's a replica of my Smith & Wesson shield that I carry it a lot. And oh, here's my actual shield. So that's a replica of that. So I've got a couple training guns in here, but you can put magazines in here. You can honestly put whatever you want. And as you can see in the one above it, I decided to put this cute little bamboo plant that my cousin got me. And it just happens to fit in here perfectly. And I just love plants. I don't know if you could tell, um, I love plants. They make me really happy. And so I knew I wanted to add some plants to my wall just to bring some color and life to it. And so that bamboo plant kind of just fit perfectly right there. Then I've got my AR and my shotgun there. I also put up a set of ear protection there because I thought that looked kind of cool. And then I've got some handguns down here. So one of our home defense Glocks. My husband actually had the Glock 34 as his SWAT gun. And because I love it so much, we got another one and we use those as part of our home defense firearm system. And then we've got my Smith & Wesson shield here. This is the Shield Plus. Um, if you've seen my recent videos, she might be hanging out in the house a little more often because I'm gonna be carrying that bodyguard, probably the new bodyguard 2.0. Uh, a bit more than I'll be carrying her, but we still love her. Then we've got our 1911 here. And then in the corner here, they have these shelves you can add and you can kind of just put them wherever you want. You could put whatever you want on top of them, but I decided to use them. I use the top one as a bookshelf. So I put a lot of my self-defense slash gun books on this shelf. So if you want, you can pause and see some of my favorite self-defense or gun books right there. Um, let me see, do I have a favorite? Oh, The Gift of Fear by Gavin De Becker is excellent. I definitely recommend everybody read that, especially women. You ladies, read this book. Um, Boyd was really good. I love John Boyd and that's just his story. Uh, they're all, they're all good. The Law of Self-Defense, excellent book. And then I've just got one of my holsters up here. And because these are metal, I just clipped a couple of my Neomags on here. If you guys don't know what Neomags are, you probably haven't seen a bunch of my videos yet, but I love using these to clip my magazines inside my pocket. It's a magnet, so it sticks to your magazine, it clips in your pocket, so then your magazine's always facing the correct way and it's not getting lost in your pocket if you carry an extra mag in your pocket. 
and they put my little logo on there which I thought was really cool so I've got one there I've got one back here as well and then just one of my crossbreed holsters that I just like the way it looks up there on that shelf now this planter okay you're either gonna really like this or you're gonna think it's creepy but my sister bought me this and I think she's so cute she's got a little mug and her hair is luscious and growing she's kind of growing a little mohawk here but I love this planter and I think she looks really cool right there my mom and my other sister, both my sisters, we all have one of these. I just think it's really cute and I like her there. So underneath that, my cousin actually found me this really cool like antique ammo book. I think she found it at an antique store. And then I've got my little She Equips Herself sign. Then I've got my little range day candle. It actually does smell like the gun range, but in a good way. This came in my armed in style gun girl advent calendar where you get like a new little gift every day that's gun related and so there's the candle and then I've got a couple DeSantis trigger guards these go in my Alexo Athletica leggings you guys have probably seen me talk about these that right there is my husband's beautiful 1873 lever action rifle she's stunning and then the wedding gun I got him this detective special and then our two Colt Pythons, which I think are just so beautiful. I don't even want to touch them because I don't want to get my fingerprints on them. And then my Smith & Wesson 632 is just at the bottom right there to finish off that little collection of revolvers. And in this bracket right here, I just put one of my belly bands and my Dean Adams corset holster. It's just nice to be able to grab them right out of this thing because I'll show you where I keep all my other holsters in a second. Then on this other bracket, I've just got another inside the waistband holster and a candle. I just thought it looked nice. And these racks right here, they actually made these as bow holders, but when I put my compound bow on it, it just stuck out a little too far. So I'm using them to hold my concealed carry bags. And then this one right here, I put my range bag on it as well as the bag I use to carry my laptop and stuff when I'm going to edit at like a coffee shop or whatever. So they actually just made nice bag holders. But if I back up, you can see the whole wall right there. I love the way it came out. And by the way, when you buy a kit from Hold Up Displays, um, they don't have to be this big, but they have kits this big, bigger, smaller, whatever you want. But I chose to get these that lock. You can just have racks you put them on where they just hang on the wall, but they don't lock. I like having the locks just in case, even though I do lock these up when I'm not in here. I put them up so that I could show you guys. Um, that's up to you, depending on what kind of door you have. That's all your decision. But I wanted to get the locking ones just so they're even more secure up on the wall. And that's the gun wall right there. I think it looks really nice. Makes me smile every time I walk into my office. And I'll be doing more filming in front of here because I just think it looks really cool and it's gonna be a nice background for my videos as well. I'm also gonna show you a clip right now of when we were assembling the wall because my husband was doing it with me and we just wanted to show you how easy they made it with this nice little tool they include in the kit. So I'm gonna stick that clip right here. All right guys, we're installing the wall right now. There's my handsome husband. And I wanted to show you these self-tapping screws. So it has a special adapter that comes with the whole kit that makes it really easy to get it in the right spot. I think you're saving a lot of time. I, mean, I, I saw stuff on the internet where everyone was already drilling these holes. Mm. So I already had my drill bits ready, but then I saw the screws that they sent with our package. And I mean, they're just taking that step out of the equation and makes life much, much faster and easier. Yeah. And this little adapter is fantastic. So basically it, it goes right into the groove so that every time you're putting a screw in, it's not going at, at any weird angle. It, it goes right in there and I'll show you, it's got a self tapping screw. So I'm just going to hit it and, and now it's already in there and now we're in. Hmm, awesome. Bada boom. All right, so that's the gun wall. Panning around, we see my little silver play button that all of you helped me to get. That was when I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That was really exciting. And then a plaque that my husband had made for me as well. And then I have this little sign up here. If you know what this is from, comment down below. My sister got me this and I think it's really cute and it makes me laugh. Um, if you know what show that's from, comment down below because it's one of our favorite shows. All right, then I've got my desk here that my husband made for me. If you saw the original video I did after we redid this room to be my office, you would have seen this desk, but my husband made it for me. It's beautiful. I love that it's a corner 
And this is usually where I film. So my camera is usually sitting right here and you'll see me sit there as I talk to you guys. This wall right here is just a big cork board that we put like a wood frame around. And these are a bunch of my firearms class certificates, instructor certificates, little notes from my husband and my parents and my sisters up there and just things that I love to have up on display because they kind of just remind me what I've done to get to where I am and the people who've supported me and so it's just really special to me. This is actually my first target from the first time I ever went shooting ever and I put the date on everything so I know that it was April 6, 2006 which was also the same year I graduated from high school. That's my little tassel. But I actually thought these were my first targets, so I framed them, but these were actually July of 2006. So this is my actual first target from the first time I went shooting with my sister, and so I like to have that there just as a memory. And then I just have a bunch of my shooting certificates, um, instructor certificates, and this is actually the certificate from the first time I met my husband, because he was teaching this class, and so that's right smack in the middle of my entire board because that was just a day that changed my life forever and I just, that's my favorite one obviously. And so yeah, that's my wall. I keep a bunch of my earbuds here just so they're quick to grab if I have to like talk to someone on Zoom or something like that. So this is where I do all my editing and stuff. Um, I like to change my wallpaper seasonally just so that I have something nice to look at every time I turn my computer on. Um, so this is just like a bunch of summer stuff I like that I made into a collage, but I'll do that every season pretty much. And then here I've got my armed in style pillow. It says coffee mascara holster and the other side is a little dry fire target. Um, I'm going to link armed in style below cause she made that candle. She made this, she makes a bunch of cool gun stuff. So there's different patterns you can get of these pillows as well, but I just really like this one. And then I just have a bunch of my tripods and lighting hiding behind my printer. I got some books down there because I'll show you in a second. My bookcase is kind of overflowing. All right, so now if I pan to the left from my gun wall, you can see the other side of my office. And this is the safe that I was really excited to talk to you guys about. So this is by vault -Tec. This is the RS500i. And oh my goodness, I just love vault -Tec. I have more things to show you guys from vault -Tec soon, um, but this is just such a nice addition to this office. I can, it's just so easy to like lock things up. Um, let me just show you guys what is going on in here. I like to do the fingerprint, but I also have a code program programmed in there just in case. There's lots of backups and this is not super organized right now, but I just wanted to show you guys how much you can put in here. It's not full by any means. I've got two long guns, one pistol. And one thing I love about this is there's an EDC shelf right here. Don't mind the ammo. And so when you come home, you can just stick your gun right here, even in its holster or whatever you're carrying it in. Just leave it in there and then it's ready to go when you're done with it. Um, you guys can see I have even more Neomags stuck to the side of my safe because I have a ton of them because I love them so much. Uh, but this safe is just so nice. It's a great size. Uh, it's super secure. It gives you a lot of details about the safe itself. Like it'll tell you um, the battery level, whether the lights are on, if it's connected to the Wi-Fi because they have apps and everything. But I just love vault -Tec. You can even set up an alarm if you want, if someone opens it, if it's like tampered with. And there's just a lot you can do with it. So I love having that in here. It just says an added place to keep my gun stored safely because that's super important. All right, then I've got my bookshelf here <laughs> with my Harry Potter ones. Um, I like to color coordinate my books, so I tried to do them kind of by color, but I have so many books. I feel like I need more space because I'm running out, which is why I have some books under my printer, but I just love my books so much. So that's, um, there's another vault -Tec safe right there. I'll show you that one in a different video. Um, but that's just my books. And then here I have my closet where I keep all of my holsters and whatnot. So here are just some baskets where I keep my holsters. These are all like Kydex holsters or like miscellaneous holsters. Most of them are just Kydex holsters like this, but I also have like a bra holster in here, some sticky holsters. And then in here are all of my belly bands. 
One of you was so sweet and sent me a Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster before they stopped making them. It's in my size and everything. That was super nice. So I'm keeping it packaged for when mine wears out because these were my favorite thigh holsters, but they stopped making them. Can Can Concealment went out of business, unfortunately. So I'm thankful to have that as a backup, so thank you. And then I just have a bunch of belly bands in here and um, yeah, a belt or two. Um, in here, I just have a lot of miscellaneous items, air guns for training, some shooting glasses, belts, hot hands, just mostly like training stuff or miscellaneous items. And then down here is where I keep all of my gun cleaning stuff. I have like a pad here for when I clean my guns. And then this basket is full of mostly Otis products. So if you guys don't know Otis, um, I actually have a discount code with Otis, so you can take advantage of that. If you're looking for a gun cleaning kit, they have amazing kits that are so easy to stick in your range bag, like this one right here. You could just pop that right in your range bag if you need to clean your gun at the range. You just have it with you. Um, they also have these like firearms wipes, just so many nice little products that you can grab and go in case you need them at the range or just even bigger kits. I'll show you one soon where you can, you just have everything you need in that one cleaning kit. So if you're looking for cleaning stuff, check out Otis and make sure to check out my discount code below for those. In here, I've just got a bunch of filming stuff, extra lights and whatnot. Uh, light bulbs and then just some miscellaneous items down there. What would Jesus do? Bracelets, uh, some binders and seashells, and then my gigantic puzzle collection up here. Let's just ignore that. Oh, a bunch of pepper sprays in here and other stuff. And then on the door here, I put some Velcro strips and then I just attached all my Velcro holsters like for my handbags up here. It's just an easy place for me to store them and grab them whenever I need them. I hope you guys enjoyed this little office makeover video. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you check the links below because I'll tag everything, all the companies I mentioned, all the stuff I love down below. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.